Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a new problem which is uh, given in Coaches uh, May lunchtime 2021 and it was given in division 2 and it is the first problem given. The problem is very simple. Uh, uh, the name of the problem is Tom and Jerry. Uh, let us go into deep into the question and understand what what is asking for. There is a grid of 10 by 5. 10 power 5 by 10 power 5 covered completely in railway tracks. Tom is riding uh, in a train currently in A comma B. A comma B is the index of the cell and Jerry is tied at a different cell. It is in the cell C comma D. Now uh, uh, Jerry is given as unable to move. The train has no brakes. It shall move exactly K steps and then its fuel will run out and it shall stop. In one step, the train moves uh, to one of its neighboring cells, sharing a side. Tom can move without the train, as the grid is covered with tracks. Can Tom reach Jerry's cell after K steps? It is very simple. Uh, let us assume this is as a grid. If Tom is here, let us assume if uh, Tom is in this cell. And Jerry is in this cell. Tom takes at least one, two, three, four, and five. Five steps to reach here. If any number uh, less than five is given to us, then we can simply say it is not possible and return no as the answer. If any number greater than five is given, it might be a uh, uh, 6 or it might be 7 or it might be 8 or a 9 or something then it may be yes or no there may be two chances because the num uh, number of steps up to here let us assume from here to here it is taking 5 steps if there is a uh, 6 steps given k is equals to 6 means number of steps given as 6 then uh, let us find 1 2 3 4 5 one two three four five whatever may be the uh, option uh, uh, direction it is uh, we are re we are getting at max five steps so uh, if an option is given as six there is no solution for it to reach in six steps uh, let us assume if k is given as seven then after reaching to this position after reaching to this uh, after reaching this position to the jerry position then you can go one step upward and come downward then two steps will be covered then seven can be the answer that is the that means if uh, the number of steps are divisible by two after reaching the position then we can we can uh, simply uh, write down uh, s since we can uh, move backward forward for n number of n number of times so if it is divisible by 2 then the answer is true now let us go into the example what is given custom input what is given uh, then first line of integer t number of test cases then the test case follows each test case is given by a b c d a b c d are the indexes of the uh, tom and uh, a b is the indexes of the tom where tom is there and c d are the indexes where Jerry is there and K is the number of steps in which uh, he is expecting us to the solve the problem. Now for each test case output single yes or no if it cannot be impossible in exactly K number of steps. There should not be more number of more than K or less than K number of steps. It is, if it is more than K or less than K then we have to return no. If it is exactly K then we have to return yes. Let us go into the problem. Now it is given as a 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2. Uh, let us assume our uh, is uh, sorry it, it is wrong. One comma one and two comma two, right? Let us uh, give the indexes as well. Zero, one, two, zero, one, and two. Now Tom is in. 1 comma 1 Jerry is here and uh, in how many ways he can go he can go like this or like this let us see he can go 1 and 2 steps 
here he is giving two steps so it is yes answer is yes now let us see one more example now one comma one two comma three let us see Let us give indexes as well. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, and three. Now let us see. It is in one comma one. Tom is in one comma one. Jerry is in two comma three. Two comma three means here. Then uh, the possible solution is one, two, and three. Three. But here he has given four. So four minus three is one. So. Uh, 1 modulo by 2 what is the answer 1 modulo by 2 is 1 so it is not equal it is not divisible by 2 so our answer should be no because uh, exactly four steps we can't reach the uh, uh, problem what uh, he has given now let us see another example uh, now let us say with the third example given now Jerry is in one comma one. Tom is in one comma one. Sorry, and Jerry is in one comma zero. One comma zero is here. See, now uh, within single step, uh, Tom can reach Jerry, and again he can come back to his original position, and again he can go back to his original position. See, in three steps we can reach the Jerry. So uh, according to our law. Uh, in one step we can go then three, uh, no, k is given as 3 3 minus 1 is 2 now 2 modulo divided by 2 is we will get 0 so it is divisible by 2 then our answer should be yes let us now go into the prop, uh, code, code part of this I forgot to tell one more point over here uh, there is one more point you have to remember over here it is very simple point let us go out and look into it um. now let us assume here uh, jerry is there and tom is here Tom is, Tom is here and Jerry is here. Tom here, here, Jerry is here. Now, to reach this position from 1, 0 to 2, 2, first it has to, uh, 1 has to, 1 is the row, uh, column, uh, row number and the 2 is the row number of Jerry. So, Tom has to reach uh, to till this row. So, it has to increased by plus one and after reaching this two uh, second row it has to traverse in the columns means it has tom has reached over here now tom has to go from here two steps from here to here to reach jerry so now we have to increase uh, the column number by one and again one so total three steps it is taking to reach uh, from one comma zero to two comma two so this can be uh, said that the diff uh, the difference between the rows and the difference between the column numbers uh, is the number of steps it has to go see 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 0 is 2 so total number of steps is 3 steps so let us go into the code now we, we will be understanding it very clearly uh, let us now go to the solution part. Now see, first I have taken the test the number of test cases t and a comma b comma c comma d are the indexes and k is the number of steps you have to go and let us uh, uh, loop it for uh, t number of test uh, t number of test cases. Uh, t for t number of test uh, t number of test cases we will be looping it and after uh, after that uh, we have taken as the inputs and uh, we have to go we are going into the solve function right now and in the solve fun in the solve function uh, in the solve function first uh, 
the arguments are a comma b c comma d now we will be taking the absolute difference between a comma c i have told you uh, just now we have to take the ro rows uh, absolute difference and columns absolute difference in order to know how many steps it will be taking so if the difference uh, is greater than k means uh, if uh, 5 is the number of steps uh, we are getting from here but the k value is 4 at, at any circumstances we can't uh, reach this position uh, jerry position so the answer will be uh, no and if exactly if uh, k and uh, our difference are equal then we will be returning one and i have already told if uh, after the dif uh, subtract if uh, k is greater than difference then we will subtract uh, difference from k and modulo it by 2 so that if it is divisible by 2 we will return it 1 or else 0 the i hope you have understood the solution uh, and if you have any doubts please uh, comment in the comment section uh, if you like the video like it and if you want to share it please share do share thank you